Good morning, ESM. Welcome to the last show of Super Bowl week. As I'm sure you all know by now, the Super Bowl is this Sunday at 6.30. It features the Los Angeles Rams against the Cincinnati Bengals. But more on that after news and announcements. Yesterday, the Biden administration urged Canadians Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's government to use its federal powers to end the truck blockade by Canadians, protesting the country's COVID-19 restrictions as the demonstra demonstration forced auto plants on both sides of the border to shut down or scale back productions. For the fourth straight day, scores of the truckers taking part in what they call the Freedom Convey, blocking the Ambassador Bridge connecting Windsor, Ontario to Detroit, disrupting the flow of auto parts and other products between the countries. With the political and economic pressures growing, the Windsor Mayor Drew Dickens announced that the city will seek a court injunction to end the occupation. On February 4, 2022, the Republican National Committee officially stated the attack on the Capitol and all events that led to it as a legitimate from the political discourage. Likewise, they censored Representative Liz Cheney of Wyoming and Adam Kinzer of Illinois for taking part in the January 6, 2021 committee. This statement from last week has do dominated much of the conversations in Washington and driven a wedge in the Republican Party. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell says, traditionally, the view of the National Party Committees is that we support members of a party regardless of the positions on some issues. Furthermore, he stated, let me give you my view on what happened on January 6. And we were all here. We saw what happened. It was a violent insurrection of the purpose of trying to prevent the peaceful transfer of power. After a legitimately cer certified election from one administration to the next, that's what it is. Looking inside the Republican National Committee, several members came out and said they never intended to suggest that those who riot on January 6 were engaged in political discourage. Bob Saget's cause of death had been revealed by his family. His death steamed from an accidental blow to the head. No drugs or alcohol were involved. Bob's family said in the statement, as to continue to mourn together, we ask everyone to remember the love and laughter that Bob brought to this world and the lessons he taught us all. To be kind to everyone, to let people you love and know you love them, and to face difficult times with hugs and laughter. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two ESM athletes were chosen as Lifter of the Month for January. Junior Jaden McIntyre and sophomore Damon Jones were chosen for this award. Both are multi-sport athletes and have made substantial gains in the past month. Great job, guys. So I don't know about you, but I'm actually pretty excited for this game, John. I definitely am. So, uh, Luke, i got to ask you, who's your pick? I'd like to preface this by saying I had these two as my Super Bowl pick since the start of the playoffs, but my pick to win is uh, Joe Burrow and the Bengals. You know, my pick is also Joe Breezy and the Bengals. But <laughs> why did you pick the Bengals? Honestly, I didn't expect that, but I've been rocking with the Bengals ever since I predicted them to beat the Steelers last year. And uh, why did you pick the Bengals? Honestly, for me, it was a really tough choice because my uncle used to play for the Rams, like, way back in the day. But I picked the Bengals purely because I love Joe Burrow. Not just, like, as an athlete, but, like, as a person. He's just, he's cool. Yeah, I've had that special bond with the Bengals since I predicted them to beat the Steelers. Remember that, that last time? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yep. And uh, now let's see what some of you guys picked. Who do you think is going to the Super Bowl? Without a doubt, Tom Brady will lead the Cincinnati Rams to a championship. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Who I think is going to win the Super Bowl? Yeah. Definitely the Jets. Who's your Super Bowl pick? Bengals, let's go! Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Cincinnati. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? The Rams. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Rams all the way. I want Bengals. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Rams, obviously. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? I don't care as long as I get snacks. I think the Bengals are going to win. Do I don't even know who the Bengals are fighting, so the Bengals. 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 Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Need I say any more? Who day all the way? 34, 31, Bengals, let's go. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Well, I got to go with my daughter. She's a Bengals fan all the way, so we're hoping the Bengals win. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? The Rams. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? The Bengals. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Rams. Yeah, Rams. Rams.
As you can see, we don't have much going on today on the map, so we're gonna have mostly cloudy skies with a few afternoon rain showers and a high of 46. Tomorrow we'll have some mixed rain and snow with a high of 38, and Sunday we'll have some snow showers with a high of 18. I'm Gabby with your weather. So, as we can see, just like us, most of you guys are also rooting for the Bengals. So, picking your favorite team is fun and all, but what are the actual statistics of who's going to win? Well, John, as of right now, the Rams are a 4.5 favorite over the Bengals. And in terms of MVP talks, of course the two QBs are in contention always. Mm -hmm. But this year, I heard some rumors that we could have the first ever kicker as an MVP in Bengals kicker Evan Shooter McPherson. Although his odds are looking a little long, it's not impossible. I just think it would be like wicked cool to see a kicker as MVP instead of like all the usual positions they get it all the time. I agree. The two quarterbacks both have great stories going into the Super Bowl. Matt Stafford, since 2010, played great but still struggled playing with the Detroit Lions, getting traded to the Rams this year. And Joe Breezy came back after a torn ACL last year with the Bengals finishing with a bottom five record. Regardless of which team wins, it'll be a great story no matter what. Because Tom Brady isn't in it. Absolutely right, John. And neither is Aaron Rodgers. And now on to sports with us. The FM hockey team shut out Liverpool 4-0. ESM athlete Jonas Osterley scored a goal for the Hornets to contribute to the win. After day seven of the Olympics, Norway and Austria are tied in first with 14 medals, and the R Russian Olympic Committee is in third with 12 medals. Syracuse center Jesse Edwards is out for the season after su suffering a fractured left wrist. It's so unfortunate. Boys basketball plays at Cortland at 6.45. Girls basketball plays at home against Cortland at 6.45. Ice hockey plays RFA at 7. And tomorrow, girls basketball plays at home against JD at 12.45. And I'm Luke with your sports. And I'm John with your sports. Thank you guys for tuning in uh, to concluding Super Bowl week. Yeah, we hope you all have a great Super Bowl weekend. Remember to stay safe, though, and of course, have fun with your family and friends. Well said, John. Thank you. Well, for me, John, and everyone else here at Spartan News, have an amazing day and a great Super Bowl. Have fun.